Hey guys, so as you know, the Galaxy Unpacked event was just held earlier today and they showcased some cool new products including the hyped S22 series. Going into the event, the phones have already been fully leaked, so that's why Samsung focused more on new features during the event, and a lot of them actually impressed me. And as expected, these features all have to do with the camera experience, which is especially great for anyone who likes to create content on social media. Let me explain a little bit more about them. All right, I'm not gonna bore you guys with specs, but Samsung basically updated some of the camera hardware and added a ton of software improvements and features to enhance the camera experience and to also fully utilize the new powerful chips in the phone. To start off, new and larger sensors were added to improve the amount of detail and light these cameras could capture. The new feature Adaptive Pixel combines the full 50 or 108 megapixel resolution with the 12 megapixel pixel bin photo in order to merge the photos for a super sharp and detailed photo. Other features like Super HDR help the camera in difficult high dynamic range scenarios for better exposure, especially in video. This phone also now utilizes technology called AI Stereo Depth Mapping for improved object segmentation in portraits. This basically means that the AI will be able to cut out everything in the foreground more accurately without blurring small objects like glasses or ears, which many phones struggle with. There's also improved portrait video, sort of like the iPhone cinematic mode, which I'm pretty excited for as it'll make videos on social media look super professional, assuming that it works well. Some other noteworthy features include auto framing, which means that the camera will automatically autofocus and sensor on a specific person, which could be great for solo creators like me. There's also director's view, which isn't new, but it allows you to record on all the phone's cameras at once, which is an easy way to switch up the angles in videos without having to do multiple takes. Another big focus during the event was nitography, as they called it. One big improvement they showcased to help with low light is in the form of stabilization. Samsung's new optical image stabilization module combined with their new video digital image stabilization is supposed to have a 58% wider correction angle and be able to analyze four times more motion data. This is great for removing jitters in videos during the day or at night and is especially great for people who love to take videos, whether it's for traveling or action sports. They also have this so-called super night resolution for night video in which the phone automatically adjust the frame rate of the video dynamically to maximize the amount of light reaching the sensors. And lastly, an underrated feature is the new super clear glass, which means that the lenses are coated in a low reflection nano coating to reduce lens flares from light. This is so important for night video because a lot of phones struggle with reflections in low light and it completely ruins the picture. With these features and bigger sensors, we should definitely see some really great improvements in night photography and video. And with these features out of the way, there's big welcoming news for all of us influencers or just people who like to post on social media. Samsung announced in the keynote that Instagram, Snapchat, and TikTok will be able to utilize all the camera processing features we just talked about inside the app cameras. Android phones have always been known to lag behind iPhones for social media content creation because Android phones usually take screenshots or screen recordings of the camera preview instead of using a native camera. Now that Samsung has taken the initiative to use the native camera processing for social media, it gives social media creators an alternative choice to the iPhone. I really hope other companies will follow suit, especially since short form content is gaining popularity exponentially. It's just crazy to think about how far camera technology on phones have grown and it's easier than ever to create quality content with just a phone. All right, and just a little bit more about the phones. All three phones are back to using glass instead of plastic, like last year's small S21 model. They're all covered in Gorilla Glass Victus Plus, in addition to using a new armor aluminum frame, which should improve durability. They've also got brighter screens with up to 1,750 nits of brightness on the Ultra model, which is just insane. The only spec that worries me, however, is the small 3,700 mAh battery on the normal S22. Androids aren't too great at optimizing battery performance, so it would be interesting to see how it performs. Conveniently, it's also the phone I decided to get to review, as it's the cheapest option and I wanted to compare it to the Pixel 6 to see how the phones matched up. There's going to be a lot of awesome and fun videos with the S22, so make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on those videos. You can check out my Pixel 6 review video up here to get a little taste of how I do my reviews. And on that note, thanks for watching this short little video. I hope you're as excited for the phone as I am. Stay safe and I'll see you guys in the next one.